Right now, I have a lawsuit that's pending against William Morris Endeavor and Adam Bennett, the head of the motion picture department at the agency. Rebecca and I were invited to a party. Adam is across the room. I don't know this man, but I know of him. So I'm looking at him across the room and he's sticking his tongue out at me. He's very overtly sexual moves to me. He starts to make his way across the room and I put my hand out like, hey, hello, sir. He sticks his hand out and then he just goes for my genitals and grabs me and I smack his hand back like, yo, what is going on? You know, like I wanted to put all his teeth on the ground. I get my composure, grab my wife's hand, and we leave. The deal is anyone who assaults you puts shame on you. They slap the shame. It's a scarlet letter. You are now marked. And as long as you internalize it, you'll never leave. I have decided I will not be shamed. Once the Harvey Weinstein story broke, those 16 tweets I tweeted out, it was about supporting. It was about letting the women who've been victimized know that I've been there and I'm with you. Time Magazine, how wow. did that feel to be featured and to tell your story? It's bigger than me. I was representing those who had been trampled, had never had a voice, had risked everything they had to come forward. The moment you say no more, you're an activist. That's hashtag me too. It's my responsibility to stand up, to also be an example of action. Unless everyone is held accountable, every time nothing will change.